Hey everyone, I'm Harleen, it's really nice to see you on our channel. First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up and let us begin this video, where we are going to review an amazing plugin called ACPT. And if you're ready, let's start. So let's open up our laptops and start reviewing this amazing plugin. As I said, we are going to review ACPT plugin and it is basically the easiest method to add custom posts to our websites and connect taxonomies, create layouts and export or import whatever we need. For the very beginning, let's enter the dashboard where we can see all our post types. To create a new post type, we have to click on the register a new post type and let's name our post type. Then choose singular and plural labels, basically how users will see it. I named it movie and here are automatic suggestions. We can also choose some icons over here. Then in our table, we can choose what should be displayed and what columns should be there. There are a few options selected by default. Uh, let's also select authors and comments in this tab. If you want to know more about anything, just click on see here and it will display the, all the information you need to know about those options. Then click on the button next, which will redirect us to the top labels. On default, we have all the text. You can change something if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'll go to the next tab. And the final step is settings. Assume if your post is already public, you can change a few stuff here and there. However, if you do not know uh, what enabling and disabling certain features, we'll do better not to play around with this plugin and just leave them at default. But you still can easily turn on or off some things such as API, menu and cap capability type. Here we can see has achieved button and we need this feature so that we can create layouts afterward. Let's save all of this and in a few seconds our page will be updated. And over here we can see that we got our custom post type and it is named movie on the sidebar of our dashboard. Let's click on that, then click on add movie. Let's name it test post for example. Write some text, then add a featured image. I'm just going to add something randomly, but of course you have to choose something that serves the purpose of what you're doing. And then hit on publish button and we can click on preview changes afterward. So, as you can see, uh, now we are able to see our post under the custom post type. Then we can go back here to review all of our lists and here we can see the movie, open it and we can also see the title, author, comment and date as we added in the filter from the settings before. Here we see that it is custom and we can see the meta box. We can add a meta box actually and give it a name uh, in the name field, for example meta and meta value, then click on save. So we basically added a meta box, it was extremely easy to do. Now we can see that we have product and taxonomies. Taxonomies, let's create a registered one. Uh, click on register a taxonomy, then click on add a new one. There is a slug, singular, label and plural label for it. Then again, we have texts and review settings, just leave them as, as default. And now we have our new taxonomy. Then we click once again over here, ACPT, and now we can add this taxonomy to our movie post type. Let's open it and as we can see, it just got added there. And we can create taxonomies from here. Over here we can see the number of the posts and we have the opportunity to create a template. Click on it. We can see the template and decide what appearance our post will have in the front end. It is a drag and drop builder. We can add images, columns, maps or any icons and make all the necessary customizations in order to get the layout we want. Also we can separate all of those into columns if needed. And let's place it here and 
for example, this one over here. Then we have to click on save in order for our template to be saved. And on the front page, users will see it and they will be able to see it in a way that you customized and save it. Also, we have API over here. We have everything we need related to API and from here we can create our API key and we can also export or import posts and it will take info from the posts that contain SMTP plugin information. Formatting will be in SMTP, we can then save this for backup or to move from one website to another one. I already have the file, so let's upload it and exchange the data. In the settings, we can choose the language and number of the lists, and we can add the API key of Google Maps. Here is the account and of course the support. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Also check out the description down below where you can find the link to this amazing plugin and to our blog where you can read many interesting and useful articles related to WordPress. See you in the next video! Bye!